Hey cutie patooties and welcome or welcome back to cutie nails my name is Q and if you are new here welcome 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 to the cutie family today we have some PR from Rosalind and if you guys keep seeing me looking up it's because of how I've got my my phone set up so I can do this dual screen recording thing we're gonna go ahead and open up these beautiful polishes so super cute we're gonna take a look at all of them real quick and then I'll jump back in when we get ready to do my acrylic toes y'all I'm not a big foot person but I'm so excited to show you guys this so let's take a look at all of these beautiful colors I can really appreciate this black matte finish on the bottles and a little peekaboo flower in the front that kind of shows you the color which matches with the color and number on top so with that being said let's get into looking at the colors and I'll be back From the roof I touch, put up a garden, count to ten, lion's den, speaking with a higher pen, can't be touched by fire, dash forward to the grown things now, I'm working on them soul things now, forgetting all your old ways, but it's harder on a cold day, cold day, never been a product of a flawless environment, never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you.
size cuticle nippers to cut down the length of my nails. Um, I went a bit shorter than the salon may have went because I'm very active, I'm constantly moving, and I do not need my little toesies hurting. So I tend to like it a bit shorter than you normally would get it. And I did not extend the nail any at all with the acrylic. I just pretty much did an overlay on my toes. So again, taking a 240 grit sanding in, I am just going over the surface of the nail. Again, using a speed of only 4,000 RPMs to remove any excess um, gel that's on the nails and buff away the shine and all of that good stuff. Now, I had already previously scrubbed and treated my feet and did all of that um, prior to doing this and I'm not doing my left foot on camera. It'll just be the right one so you guys are not sitting here through the entire process, which did not take me long at all to do this um, acrylic application on my toes. It literally took me like maybe one hour to do everything. So I'm just gonna cut everything down, then I'm gonna go in and refine the shape with my 8080 grit um, nail file, and then we'll get back to applying the acrylic. So I'm super, super excited about trying this, you guys. I'm just gonna take some alcohol just to pretty much dehydrate the nails. Then I'm gonna go in with prep and primer. I also did use my no lift primer, which I didn't show on camera, I just thought of it last minute. So that way I have no lifting issues at all because as you know, my feet are constantly gonna be in water twice a day, taking a shower. So I just wanna make sure that I have no issues and don't develop any greenies or anything like that on my toes. So I'm, I'm getting my prep in there, dehydrating and priming as best as I can before I apply the acrylic. So like I said, I'm super excited to be a trying to be trying acrylic toes for the first time, you guys. Never had it. Well, I think I had it once like years and years ago, but for me to do it on myself, I'm super excited about doing this. I I'm so, so happy with my progress in acrylic application, which you guys will see in a second when we get into that. I've seen acrylic toes here and there, not a big fan of feet, and was really, really scared to show you guys my feet, but today's the day we're gonna do it, we're gonna get over it, and we're gonna get acrylic toes going. So I'm gonna be using French from Nail House, French Rose. It is a beautiful, soft, pink nude. Um, my nail sister was asking me of different nudes or different skin tones, so you'll get a chance to see how this nude looks against a darker skin tone, which is very pretty, and I think this can, can go well with darker and lighter skin tones. But I also want to try another one called T Twin Flame that I recently purchased from Nail House. And um, we'll see how that looks against my skin tone, but I'm not sure just yet when I'm going to be doing that. So going in with the acrylic cuties, I am going in with a super dry bead. Like when I tell y'all I dry this thing out for like maybe six to eight seconds, on my paper towel and then I'm just placing it near the cuticle and then lightly pushing it in to the cuticle and smoothing everything out and forming it and I was so proud of myself with how I would literally say perfect these beads were and how perfect the consistency was like if I wanted to extend the nail a little bit and form it square shape I definitely could have done it I was so, so pleased and happy with the way my beads were cooperating and how 
how everything was working the way I needed it to because with my toes, I can't point it downwards if the beat is too runny. So I wasn't having any issues with anything getting up into the cuticle area and I was keeping everything nice and clean, still trying to maintain that consistency of practicing how I would work to make sure that, you know, it's muscle memory. So I was absolutely loving how everything was performing, how great the beads were working on my toes, everything being nice and dry and I was able to form this as possible. Being a, a beginner learning acrylic, like the runniness can definitely be a frustration, but I did take a lot of tips from my nail sisters. I've been watching a lot of acrylic toe videos and I really feel like for the first time I did an awesome job. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the description, the comment section down below and check the description box for codes and links and all of that good stuff. Y'all know I use Portia Nailed It code for nails. Use code Portia so that way you can get money off. But I also have affiliate codes and links in the description box. So be sure to check those out cuties. Forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them so things now. Forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on a cold day. Cold day. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I need to get away. Hey okay, cuties, so if you are very hesitant about trying acrylic toes, I would definitely say to please, please, please give it a try. It was super easy. I, I guess I was psyching myself out more than I really should have been because once I just kept that mantra in my head, like make sure your beads are super dry, make sure they're super dry like drier than normal it, it worked out it worked out I did not um do like a really bulky nail either I wanted it to be just a very nice thin overlay and not have a ton of acrylic packed onto my toes and I was really able to do that um if there was any areas that was sheer just went in with more acrylic and pretty much smoothed that out and got it very nice and thin this application was so super smooth like I really did not have to do a ton of filing at all I really just needed to get that sticky layer that um cures on this acrylic from using the odorless monomer I use Koopa I tell you guys all the time but I'm gonna keep telling y'all you know so that way if there's anyone that's new you know you guys are privy to the information as well so um, I used the Koopa odorless monomer which you know it's more dense and it dries or cures the acrylic with a tacky layer to it and as you learn your liquid to powder ratio with that your tacky layer will be much thinner than it will be at first when you're first starting to use it and with me continuously practicing with acrylic I have noticed that amount of tackiness that's on there is a lot less than when I first started so I'm just taking my time I'm gonna show you guys the big toe as well because I did these in two beads both big toes and two beads and I'm sorry for any shaking or anything or bumping because it was kind of hard trying to use the ring light have my camera set on it and look into it to you know see what I was doing so I'm applying the first bead near the center of the toe and and I'm just because it's so dry I'm patting it and spreading it across the width of the toe and then I'm just pulling it down towards the free edge so I can form off or pretty much square off the acrylic at the free edge and you guys see there's no runniness there's no like spilling anywhere at all because the beads are literally that dry which worked perfect for me with doing my toes so after going in with that first bead we're gonna apply the second bead just as you normally would close to the cuticle but not on top of the cuticle pushing it into the cuticle area and basically smoothing that out to kind of seal off the cuticle as much as you can before going into sealing it with filing so once I get the cuticle area and the sidewalls the way that I want it, I'm just going to smooth out the rest of that acrylic towards the free edge of my toe, clean up my cuticle area, and then we're going to get into some filing and a little bit of light shaping. I really don't like that squared look on my toes. I like to make sure that my side walls kind of have like almost like a coffin shape so that way they don't grow into my skin and cause any ingrown toenails. I really like to have it, you know, kind of shaped off and not 
super super square so I'm gonna go in just like I normally would file my nails if I was doing my nails I'm gonna do the free edge and the side walls first then I'm gonna go over the surface with my umbrella bit <laughs> I love this umbrella bit, you guys. It just gets right into the cuticle and gets everything nice and smooth. I love ceramic bits. I'm just gonna go over the surface with that and once I'm done cleaning off the surface and getting everything nice and smooth, I'm gonna go right back in with my 8080 grit file again, refine my shape, make sure everything is there. I like to also refine the shape once I've added top coat, but I'm not gonna show you guys that today. Just know that I do do that once I apply the top coat. Then we're gonna buff, we're gonna clean off these nails and we're gonna get into these Rosalyn gel polishes which I used to create my art today. Okay cuties, now that my toesies are nice and clean, I am using specific colors from the Rosalyn um, gel polish set that they sent me. Super spring, super cute. I did add yellow in there eventually, but what I'm doing is I'm just taking um, a Born Pretty detailer brush that they had sent me, and I'm just making little like lines to create some flowers. Um, once I do that, I'm gonna cure that for about 15 seconds, and then I went in with the French part of my design. We're gonna skip kinda ahead to the second layer of that French because it was really hard to see the first layer, but everything I did, I did put two layers on it, even the flowers, to make sure that the vibrancy of that design is there, even though it's a, a spring, you know, pastel y look. So you guys will see exactly how I do all of that, how I clean everything up. Then I'm gonna use the white color that you guys first saw when I started showing y'all the colors to kind of outline the flower and give it some detail to make it actually look like flowers and we'll get into some top coat but i'm gonna let y'all sit back and enjoy the design and i'll pop back in when we get closer to the end Lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you Before him, adore him He will give you everything Come and take the Can't way Can't going back To what I used to know Hold my hand as I go down this road. Can't keep going back to what I used to know. But please hold my hand. I hope you guys enjoyed the music and have been enjoying the art so far. I'm still looking for some great Christian music that is truly non-copyright. Um, 
I'm still having the copyright issues, so there will be times that the music will be muted. But with that being said, cuties, we are almost near the end of this video. It is time to add our top coat to these nails and cure them for a full 60 seconds. I just wanna tell you guys that I love y'all so much. God loves y'all, most importantly, he loves you guys. Do not forget, do not forget that he loves you. Do not forget that someone is out there praying for you. Continue to pray for me as I pray for you guys. And as always, cuties, I'll most definitely talk to you in my next one. Bye! To the sky, and I'm a waiter from the giver, built a liver like a dealer. Higher.